there are some things in this world we just look at in passing. Karen Trivelpiece sent an example. They just stand where they are, hiding whatever stories and secrets they know. Truth is, we don't miss such things until they're gone. An orchard in bloom by Kelly Caudle, Port Treverton, back now from the chill of winter. We welcome them back with open arms and listen to the sounds they make. Spring in Marshall's Creek from Runnet L. They come by the dozens at times and we wish them well as no doubt Eileen Chorba in Beach Lake did. Given the perils lurking here and there as Sandy found at Briar Creek Lake in Berwick, we urge caution. If luck is with you, the perils will go somewhere else this time. Monica Marzani sent a traveler from Lake Winola. From Sue Lazorka Phillips in Jersey Shore, this image. No matter your age or size, we wish you well. We who walk through the perils of winter now walk openly, viewing whatever nature sends us. The Susquehanna from Mark of Satchi, Wallopin. We enjoy those fresh from the earth sights and senses here from Holly Legate, Ransom. And here from Cynthia Roth, Catawissa. Mostly, though, it seems we enjoy the sky, the sun, the warmth of spring. This from Diane Hurley, Long, Danville. We are sorry to see it go, if even for a few hours. Here, caught by Jen Long, Danville. And in Lemon, this view of the setting sun from Mary Gabriel. We wish, I think, that we could hold it as in this image from Cherry Peck, Pleasant Mount. It's spring. And it seems so long since we had a good visit. Well, maybe tomorrow. I'm Mike Stevens of the Photolink Library. <laughs>